half of the world, three billion people, are using campfires in their kitchens or campfires somewhere to cook. It's a huge problem. We also see it as a huge opportunity to help people with a healthier product that's good for them and the planet. What we didn't realize is, in looking in hindsight, is that we became salesmen from the Amazon to the Andes. Wherever we went, we had appropriate technology. We were there to solve a problem of delivering ecological, better solutions for what was existing. We found that Peru was the ideal market because it had 9.2 million people using biofuels for cooking and 7.5 million people who didn't have access to electricity. I was going to Dinamarca. I loaded up a carry-on suitcase with solar lights, solar radios, all the appropriate technology that I had. The people in the community, the 800 or so families that live there, didn't have the resources to pay for the weekly fee for gas. Otra tecnología tener, no, para que para tener también este permanente luz, permanente corriente. Eso es lo que te puedo decir. ¿Cuánto kerosene usas al mes en aquí en en su familia? Yo tengo que comprar. Sí. Valor de un sol de petróleo uh -huh. y para, para una noche. Al mes sería pues 30 soles. A veces, a veces cuando, cuando yo ya no tengo mi sol, mi, mi dinerito para comprar, y estoy en el oscuro. Pagas 15 soles mensualmente o una parte para una lámpara, después no tiene que pagar. Entonces sería más económico. Claro. What I found was in these remote regions, people had no access to information. And what they relied on was very inexpensive, uh, portable radios, which they had to continuously feed disposable batteries. This was their lifeline. They didn't have cell phones, they didn't have TVs. By that trip, we really understood, okay, this is the demand, but now we, we also understand what are some of the problems. I individually couldn't scale or couldn't reach as many people traveling up and down the river, but could we employ salespeople and provide Peruvians jobs? setting is really unbelievable. I mean, it, it is a garbage dump that has been covered over by a couple feet of dirt. The majority of the people living in this area had no power, and this is a major city. And my business is social, so that everyone who wants to have a house, they have it. They have it clean, and it's clean for them, it's economic. And that's why I'm here. The majority of the people are using leña to cook. Y la leña se gasta mucho, se gasta dinero usando leña. Y con la leña necesitamos una cocina que uno usa menos leña. Entonces, puede comprar un producto así, solar, un radio, y nunca tienes que pagar para pilas, nunca tienes que pagar kerosina, nunca tienes que comprar más velas. Los niños tienen mejor luz para estudiar de noche, y ustedes pueden también trabajar en artesanía de noche sin tener problemas trabajando, leyendo de noche, sin tener problemas de leer. Puedes estar caminando, uh, también escuchando salsa, a mí me encanta la salsa, o música en vivo, o las noticias, las políticas, para que puedan hacer, intentar qué, qué es el político que están haciendo. This child now has light. This family can actually save money now, live better, knowing that you're giving basic necessities to people and figuring out a business model that you can help people and still making enough money so that you can help more people. Peru is just the beginning. We have already started looking at countries in Africa, other countries in South America. So once we become a profitable company, we'll expand our business model 
uh, taking what we've learned in Peru and replicating that same model in other countries. This is more than just filling a product need. It's teaching people that there's a new way of business. There's a way that you can make money, improve the environment, and help people.